Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Happy, Happy Christmas. Christmas. Hope everyone has an advent calendar. <laughs> Neither do I. I was gonna get. I'm, a, I'm vegan. A vegan advent chocolate calendar, but the, I suppose the chocolate in it would be quite foul. <laughs> and it was five pounds. <laughs> Christmas Echo. And you can find this on Chariot's Christmas album 2009. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A single candlestick flickering in the shattered light. I thought I saw a shadowed illustration of you on this cold December night. Tinsel, lace Christmas trees, ribbon, wrapped gifts, gingerbread biscuits. A misplaced mistletoe kiss you couldn't possibly resist. You worry, now your hands become cold. You were bad this year, now coal lines your stocking sole. You wonder if you will grow tired and alone. No candy striped treats decorate your home. The sweet sick smell of cloves suffocate your old dusty lungs. Remember the carved wooden hearts together we hung? But now the place where the Christmas tree once sat echoes now the love that we once had. I slice my hands on the Christmas tree ferns. Buttons of bud fell to the floor. Now when I think of you, it makes my heart burn. As I walk through the cold, I feel strange steps as I saunter through the soft, sludgy snow. But no footprints are left as I step through winter's bitter glow. Ribbon, red twirls, curls and swirls, tinsel lace wrapped around your wrists. Pulled so tight, blood drip, drip, drips. A bitter whisper brushes past my neck. Was that Father Christmas put gifts by my bed? I fumble my bent fingers through the empty stocking, but let us not forget, no presents are left for those who are now dead. she would write you a letter so that you would never forget her. Today I bought a colourful balloon from a man with a yellow cagoule. I bought it so that I could float away so that I would not have to go to work today. <laughs> I think I might finish on that. <laughs> And uh, thank you, Rebecca and Anna, for asking me to do it. <laughs> with a poem from Becca and me. Uh, do you want to go first? Yeah. I'll, I'll go first. Okay, yeah. I, I've got a really sad one though. But there we go. Okay, okay. You go you first. Go, no, no, you go, you go, because it's in your head. Go, go. Okay. Just, okay. Alright. Alright. Um, we're going to do Life Boys, which we've done quite a few times, but we're going to do it again. It kind of links to the one I was doing earlier. So, together. Okay. Heaviness drags me into your face, life boys our eyes, the world, a blue-grey sea. We travel by raft, by motor pump, boat, by oil, by kayak, two mans. My dad is learning how to journey on water again. He spent 
lone hours leaving where he is. He is learning the Eskimo role this week. The gravity of your bones. Morning spent, obsessed with light, the way it takes a knife to you and alters surgeon specific your contours. You're a beautiful thing of angles, of legs that taper to an ankle that splay into feet. And I'm going to swim to you across this distance. Using the breaststroke I learnt at ten that I perfected since then in clawing pools of strangers' arms and goggled heads. Where the undertow of depth drags my body down, we Eskimo kiss in a snowy bed. My mother is moving to a house up a hill where the landscape of her childhood will lay height away from her living room, walls light with air-soaked views. The weight of my body is walled in by skin. When I'm tired, it drags me till the memory of you arises from the back of my mind. You are the last demarcation. Thank you. See you. And as we thank you for coming. I should say that we're on, we're on next at February yeah, 7th. We're, we're, um, Stirred is a monthly event, the first Monday of every month. Um, the first Monday of January is the 3rd of January and we made an executive decision exactly. and decided that it would be ridiculous to um, have a poetry night on the 3rd of January when everyone is poor and hungover and everything. Um, so we will come back on the 7th of February. Um, we will have, as one of our guests confirmed, we've got Emma Decent who was here tonight doing the open mic. We'll have many more fabulous people to confirm very shortly soon. Um, I do also want to remind you, the people who are on the open mic and also the guests that have been for filming tonight, and if you want to get a copy of that film, email us, contact us, and we will give it to you. Um, or if you do not want us to use that film in any way, we will get rid of it and burn it and throw it into a ditch. Um, but I will finish tonight with a poem. Um, Becca's just done a poem that mentioned her father. I'm going to do a poem that mentioned my dad. Um, uh, my surname is Percy, which for those of you that do not know, is also the surname of the Dukes of Northumberland. I may or may not be related to them, but for us, um, for Guy Fawkes Knight is a big deal, because one of the conspirators was Thomas Percy, the Dukes of Northumberland, so it was a big deal, and you know, to me it's kind of a, one of the ways in which I remember my dad, who passed away 18 years ago this year. Um, and on the 5th of November 2010, I wrote this broken sonnet. The tides of grief are not ordered, drawn by the moon's predictable orbit, chartable, timetabled, like buses on the shore. Some unfixed satellite governs its ebbs and flows. Some high tides appear regularly, their birthday perhaps. But walking to the park to view this year's sparks, I hear mother's disjointed voice say, he is in the stars. And without warning, the concrete sea defences of years are broken, and I am left flooded again. Thank you all very much for coming and supporting Sturd and we hope to see you in the new year. Thank you all.